with the, the peanut sauce with the um, cherry beans in it. Yeah. Cherry Very good. Cherry is yeah. good. My Do you have the mom recipe? can cook it. Uh, I've watched them, so. So when you go back, you'll be able to make some cherry I'll try. I'll you try. can take some cherry with you and the basi, the beans. <laughs> I'm sure you, you, there are beans in America. Too. Yeah, we got some beans in America. Wow, well, that's nice. Yeah. Nice to have you on the program. Thanks and how long have you been here already? I've also been here two years. Two years. Yeah, so I'm going back now. Oh, yeah. it's nice. And I love the henna that you have on. Ah, thank you. The food and who did that for you? <laughs> um, my really good friend in village, Kajitu Adama. Kajitu Adama. <laughs> yeah. You know, I know Fula, but I only know, I think the only Fula I know is uh, Landam. 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 I think that's hor uh, the salt. It means salt, or yeah. knife. <laughs> yes, I know Landam and Labbe. Okay. I think Labbe is a knife. knife. Yeah. Those are the two that yeah. I know. <laughs> well, uh, welcome to the show, Abdurrahman Kante. You're welcome. It's really nice to have you on the program. Thank you. And um, first, I want you to tell us about the NSGA. Um, what was your involvement in the camp? Um, the camp that, what, what was the name of the camp? The again? Camp Glow. Camp, camp Glow. Yeah, girls and guys leading our wall. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Fatu, and yeah. uh, thank you for welcoming us to the mm -hmm. The far to show. Yeah. Uh, NSGA is the is the abbreviation, but the acronym means Nova Scotia Gambia Association. Oh yeah. This is uh, an international NGO that works in the area of health promotion and development, mm -hmm. and we have our head office in Halifax in Canada. So it's a, it's like a, an association of Gambians and Canadians oh, coming together. To do, um, um, classes. During yeah. the summer holidays. summer school summer I school programs some of those. exactly yeah, we used that was to do a while ago. yeah summer school it programs for LK, yeah, the LK sometime in Bacau and uh, the last ones we had in the provinces in Basse and uh, yeah, Mansa Congo mm -hmm. we still we still do we still do summer school programs mm -hmm. they were funded by the Canadian International Development Agency okay so that's that's uh, shortly what NSGA does and uh, we work in schools and communities mm -hmm. uh, doing peer health education program. So we basically deal with young people okay. uh, in the school system and also uh, in the communities. Okay. So Camp Glow, did you like it? Yeah, it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. It was really great to be working with the students. Um, we had 24 students from six senior secondary schools. Mm -hmm. And to be able to work with them and spend a week with them and watch these young people who are so amazing and someday they're going to be really great leaders in the Gambia. And it's mm -hmm. really exciting to get to watch that. and watch it begin maybe so now tell me about the village that you were at um, what were the challenges that you were facing if there was <laughs> any <laughs> well you know I think like Lena was saying the language until you learn the language it's hard to know the people very well mm -hmm. because then you're just spending your time being confused and not understanding what's going on around you so learning the language was a challenge and maybe sometimes missing home you know we're yeah. very far away so yeah. but you know once you get comfortable here you you love the people so much and it's Okay. I just left on you. Monday and it was very difficult. Wow. Yeah. So now you're go getting ready to go back to yeah. the States. Yeah, going back to America. Okay, let me ask you this question. I always wanted to ask a Pisco volunteer this. <laughs> because I know, you know, for us, like I was born in the Gambia and I lived here, you know, the best part of my life. Mm -hmm. But I'm still not used to blackouts. Oh, like blackouts. when there is no electricity, when light is off. Yeah. But here's somebody who lived in America, you know, until now mm -hmm. and then you're in Gambia for two years how do you cope and I'm sure the village that you were serving do they have electricity no how did it go oh well, um, you just get used to it you know slowly slowly say to say candles <laughs> yeah I had <laughs> candles but you I think you just start to get used to the rhythm you know when the Sun goes down people gather and they maybe chat for a while and then people get tired and lay down and you just start to go, I think, with the more natural rhythm. Mm -hmm. You know, when it gets dark, you get tired and you go to bed. Oh. Yeah. And you liked it. You didn't have yeah, any problems with that. Yeah, I loved it so much. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And now you're going back. Wow, you'll miss your family. So much, yeah. In Gambia. Yeah. And um, you've, t you've uh, told us about your involvement um, in the camp. Yes. What was your contribution? Mm, uh, NSGO was definitely involved uh, in the Camp Glow mm -hmm. process. Yeah. From the planning, mm -hmm. we were invited to... Uh, the Peace Corps yeah. office, and we were involved in the planning, the lesson plans, mm -hmm. planning for logistics, and uh, we contributed mm -hmm. as uh, Gambians uh, who help in the facilitation mm -hmm. because uh, we have the lesson contents and yeah. uh, we have the experience in working with young people on health education programs yeah. and that was why uh, Peace Corps had to definitely rely on us as Gambian partners. We did our best because we tried to also 
uh, look at the lesson plans, the lesson content, and uh, at least tell me the messages to Gambian context. Mm -hmm. So we add the Gambian flavor to it, to contextualize it, to suit our Gambian culture, our Gambian tradition, and of course our Gambian religion. And I think that has definitely helped a lot in making the camp glow a success. Okay, Nova Scotia, Gambia, um, do you have any involvement like association with the women of the Gambia, especially on International Women's Day? Do you have anything coming up on this day? Uh, obviously, NSGA work as uh, partners with uh, the Network on Gender-Based Violence, yeah. it's NGBV, mm -hmm. and uh, we are in fact uh, board members, mm -hmm. and uh, we also work together with the NGBV and the Women's Bureau and uh, other women organizations because most of our work mm -hmm. goes into health promotion and definitely we also work on projects that relates to women empowerment. Okay. So basically we join partners to celebrate the day mm -hmm. and uh, we also contribute our quota to also bring women's health uh, as a priority. Okay. Yeah. So now tell me, Stephanie, um, what would you miss most about the Gambia? Uh, the people, of course. Yeah. The people, yeah. Well, everybody says this. <laughs> yeah. I believe it now. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. to be so welcomed in this country is really amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, like anytime you walk by a food bowl, come and eat. Anytime you meet anyone <laughs> on the street, they greet you. Yeah. And it's very different in America. And just the people here are so kind and loving. And mm. it's, I'm going to miss them a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you're leaving this week? Yeah, Sunday. Oh, <laughs> which state? Uh, I'm from Michigan. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you from Michigan? Yeah. I used to live in Troy. Oh, really? Yeah, 14 <laughs> Mile in Jonah. Okay, yeah. excellent. Yeah, well not that, too far from that, Detroit. Wow, well, that's yeah. good. Um, we would now take a break. Or uh, before that, let me ask... Um, Abdurrahman, one more time. Abdurrahman Kante, uh, yes. is the NSGA planning to organize anything similar independently or now focusing on partnering with the U.S. Peace Corps? Uh, Are you going to be working with only Peace Corps or you're trying to do something independently? No. Uh, we will continue to work with Peace Corps, mm -hmm. and, uh, especially if they, they want to continue with the Camp Law Initiative. Mm -hmm. We are definitely open to... Uh, help or assist them in any way mm -hmm. as we used to do yeah. and uh, secondly we will also be holding an uh, a regional drama competition very soon mm -hmm. that will be probably on Saturday okay. these are activities that also help bring young people together to uh, show talents okay. so that drama competition will even be at the Ebunjan Theatre Hall yes, I have uh, uh, exactly that will be this, when is this Saturday? Yes, this Saturday mm -hmm. from 3 o'clock and uh, all the students are welcomed, uh, even the general public is welcome. So we continue, NSGA continue to uh, hold such programs for mm -hmm. young people. Okay. And uh, from here, we'll be going by the 23rd, we'll be in Basse. Okay. And we'll hold a similar regional drama competition involving schools in that region also. Okay. So we will continue to work with the uh, Peace Corps on the Camp Glow Initiative. Yeah. And uh, our doors are also open to any other development agencies that are willing to work with us with the young people. We have the expertise so in that, we have the experience. Do you know? uh, we're going to try to hold it again next year, mm -hmm. in January. But you won't be here. I won't, but we have you know, a lot of other Peace Corps volunteers ready to do yeah. the work. Yeah. So. Do you want to take a sip of Fanta? Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you want something? Oh, yes, I will surely thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Fanta. Well, uh, before we go to the break, I would like to say I'm in observance of International Women's Day. Day, Sona of KGI said I should announce to all her customers that she's having a big sabar at the um, at the KGI uh, shopping center. That's where they sell clothes and everything. This is a way of her saying thank you very much to her customers because they've been very, very, very patronizing and she wants to organize this sabar. Um, comme international women's day la legi samedi bu nexe yalla mom dafa def sabar bu maxi bunti biti kam bi di kji pour wax customer mi thank you parce que jappale ngeen say bagage ñewé ngeen daw jinda kon mom tam fok mu defa len sabar di ngeen lekka te di ngeen nan time now to take a quick break uh, we'll be right back Hello, do you were here? Now on the 8th of March of every year, women's achievements throughout history and across nations are being celebrated. It's the International Women's Day. 